Hello guys and welcome to this video. Now today I've got a collection of three awesome Arabic dial mods to share with you. Now if you followed me before, you follow my Instagram uh, at Seiko Mods Dubai, you know I love building Arabic dial watches and here is an awesome collection. I'm going to go over the base watches, what parts I used, where I got the parts from, um, all that sort of thing. Uh, if you like what I'm doing guys, uh, please subscribe. Um, and follow me on Instagram as well if you are interested in ordering your own custom watch made in Dubai by myself. Uh, it's at Seiko Mods Dubai as mentioned. I've actually got a couple other Arabic dial watches I'll share with you as well. Um, so let's start with the Pepsi. Now I have used this uh, sort of model style before and I think I actually have a video as well using this insert which I refer to as the proper Pepsi bezel insert. Um, now obviously most of these mods are in some way linked to a Rolex kind of style. Um, this one of course is the Pepsi uh, GMT Master, however this bezel insert is uh, 12 hours, there's no GMT hand, there's an Arabic dial of course, that's an original Seiko SNKP 21J1 Arabic dial. Um, we've got the Arabic day as well. And it's on a three o'clock SKX style case. I'll show you a little comparison of the cases in a minute. Uh, S signed crown and a Jubilee bracelet. All right, so um, it's a 42 millimeter watch. The thickness I believe is around uh, 13, 14 millimeters. It's got quite a chunky case back on this one. I'll show you that in a minute as well. In fact, all of these three are the same. They are Sapphire case backs. Now, that's the kind of general overview. Of course, there's a sapphire crystal here as well, which is double domed. And what I love about this bezel insert, now this bezel insert is the only Pepsi bezel insert you can buy in ceramic that actually looks the correct colors uh, that Rolex do. Rolex made famous with their GMT Master model um, in ceramic, of course. So it's very hard to make a red and blue, uh, especially the red color in ceramic and Lucius Atelier managed it. So those, uh, the guys there, these bezels are actually Swiss made. Um, I don't know if they're the same factory that supplies Rolex or not, but they certainly charge a premium for it, uh, but it is worth it. They just look awesome. Now, interestingly, may have mentioned this in my previous video, but to get that lovely, perfect fitment with the crystal, you actually need to get the uh, crystal from Watch and Style which is where I get all of the case parts and so on for these mods. Watch and Style is a great supplier in the Philippines and or based in the Philippines. And they have a lot of nice crystal designs. And one of them, the one that's actually intended for a flat insert, um, matches up to this Lucius Atelier bezel perfectly. And I just learned that through trial and error. So I'm sharing you that little, a little bit of information in case you want to try your own uh, like this as well. Um, now, all of these are powered by an NH36. The general process for these Arabic dials is I buy the base watch, and I, uh, which is an SNK um, P21J1. That one um, usually looks like this. And uh, I literally take everything off it apart from the dial. So I'm just left with the dial. I put that dial into um, a new case and onto a new NH36 movement. Fortunately, it's still three o'clock, so I don't need to mess with the dial too much, um, but I do also get that Arabic day wheel out of it. And uh, then I garnish it with some uh, Mercedes hands. These are from DLW, uh, really nice quality hands. I find that the finishing on them is lovely and they just want to pop on straight away. It's quite easy to fit these hands from DLW. Not always the case with other suppliers. Um, also, I do like the brushed chapter ring on this model because it uh, gives a bit more of that Rolex feel and uh, separates the dial, drops it into the watch, which uh, I think looks really cool. Um, we've got a sub-style bezel, a rotating bezel here, and the action on this one is lovely. In fact, all of these nice and firm, precise. Okay, you could use this for timing as well or setting a reminder with the triangle. Uh, or or indeed track a second time zone. Okay, let's have a look at the back quickly. 
So firstly, the bracelet is from Watch and Style as well. Really good quality bracelets, um, far more affordable than uh, the strap code versions. And actually I prefer the clasps. The clasps are simpler. They're definitely uh, simpler than the strap code offerings, but um, they are also slimmer and smaller. The strap code ones are a bit too chunky for my liking. Uh, but if we open up, you will see that lovely sapphire crystal case back. That's just a bit of the protective film rubbing off a bit there. So I've left that on, but yes, you can see watch and style engraved on one of the solid end links and of course screws um, for adjusting the links. Uh, inside is that NH36 movement. And I love this model. I, the first time I've done an Arabic dial, Ar Arabic bezel, sorry, Arabic dial Pepsi mod, and uh, it's come out beautifully. Um, and I did mention three o'clock case. So this case is actually still shaped, especially on this left side, just like the SKX case. And then as soon as you turn it round, the big difference here, the crown's at three with these kind of softer shaped um, crown guards, which, uh, which I think look really great. Uh, there's a lot of sub style cases and other case designs out there, but this one um, I've used a lot and it's because it does keep it more Seiko. I really like to keep a bit of Seiko into my uh, watch designs. So the next one, let's move on to, just clasp that on, the Yachtmaster. Now I used to call this the Arabic gold dust. Uh, I think that was a name coined by uh, one of the first people to order one of these. This is uh, based on the SNK P22 J1. Um, so that white Arabic dial, and I should have said these are original Seiko parts. Um, I actually had to buy the watch to get the dial. Uh, the difference is here, if I hold you up this one, obviously the dial is white, but then the numerals are black. We've got gold uh, logos and a date window frame. Um, so I wanted to always keep a bit of gold in this one. So we, we garnished it with a bit of gold around the bezel, a crown, so not full two-tone. The bracelet is still just silver, uh, but I think this is just the right amount of gold in there. And we've got a, a somewhat brushed um, chapter ring in that, that gold color with the markers there as well uh, to frame, frame that dial. Otherwise, this is essentially the same watch. The bezel is a Yachtmaster bezel from DLW. Um, one of my favorite places to buy bezels generally because they just awesome quality. Uh, they look just like the image as well. No weird colors, no hues. Um, if it's a silver Yachtmaster bezel, it is a silver Yachtmaster bezel and that's exactly what it is. Uh, really, really good. Uh, so otherwise, I won't show you the back of this one because it is essentially the same. Same bracelet, same case back. Um, but there you go, that's the white dial version. I'm personally quite fond of this one. I think you're gonna see this one again uh, soon as well. And then we have another new one I've not done before. And uh, now I, you, know, you guys will know by now how much I love the root beer design. Uh, this uh, is a DLW's root beer bezel. And you can get this actually in gold, which is yellow gold, which is this one or you can get it in rose gold numerals, which is an awesome feature now for those rose gold watches. In fact, I've got one here to show you. So there is the same bezel insert, I should say the ceramic bezel insert, the root beer style, but in rose gold numerals as well. You can see they're definitely a bit brighter on the rose gold model, um, but either way, they match the cases perfectly. I'll come back to that rose gold watch in a minute. So this has um, a full gold case back, case crown, everything gold. Uh, it's even got a gold polished chapter ring and gold Mercedes hands. And um, so we went full all out gold here. Now they don't do a black dial with gold logos and so on, but considering that's the only part and it's still the white date, day dates in there, um, it still all, all fits well, especially from this angle. I love this watch from this angle. You can see the, uh, the sapphire crystal there. There's quite a glossy dial. I should have mentioned that. All of these are glossy dials, so they're quite tricky to work with, but beautiful. So yeah, root beer mods, uh, definitely something that's that's been very popular. Uh, and this is with the first yellow gold Arabic dial one I have done. Um, so there you have it, guys. That is 
uh, one order of three awesome Arabic dial mods. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. You can also, if you're looking for mod parts, by the way, guys, have a look in the description because if I get some special codes um, or deals with some of that, some of those suppliers I mentioned, I'll always drop them in. So, so far we've got watch and style for most of the case and these bracelets. This is the first uh, oyster style uh, solid bracelet I've seen made in um, yellow gold, well, the yellow gold color, and that's from Watch and Style. So Watch and Style is one of my favorite suppliers for case parts, DLW and Namoki for my bezels, crystals, and uh, hands can be from either of them. Uh, Lucius Atelier did the Pepsi bezel. So they're the key suppliers you might want to look out for on Instagram and stuff as well. So I promised you some more Arabic dial. So here is one, this is actually based on a 5KX model. And so this bracelet is the original Seiko bracelet. You can see it's got the Seiko clasp. It doesn't taper, a little simpler than this gold version. Definitely a bit lighter too, actually. Um, but uh, I definitely prefer the upgraded bracelet. But at the time I built this one, this just wasn't available. You can actually now get this in rose gold as well, which is something I might want to add to this in the future. Um, but you've got that rose gold bezel insert, otherwise exactly the same as this watch with the crown at four. Now this is the original Seiko case. So what I actually did here is take the rose gold Seiko 5 Sport and the Arabic dial model and combine them and then add the bezel, add the crystal and the S signed crown there. So uh, this one is mostly original Seiko parts. Even the, the rotating bezel itself is the original Seiko style, the case back, is uh, the original see-through case back that you get on Seiko 5 Sports and so on. Uh, Price-wise, they're all around the same because um, now it's actually great to see that we can get different colored bracelets from watch and style, for example. So um, that, is a, that is a place to go to if you are looking for these um, more flashy colors, the golds, the rose golds, all of that. Have a look at watch and style for bracelets. Um, I should have mentioned as well, in fact, I'll show you on the next one. I have one more to show you. Now, this is uh, a watch that I really quite like. This is um, born out of the fact that I'm always left with quite a few of these cases. These are based, uh, all of these models, apart from the white dial, um, are based on the SMKP 22J, sorry, 21J1. And uh, this case is from that watch. So I end up with a bunch of these cases. So I actually thought, um, and movements and hands and crown, pretty much everything. So why not make some lower cost models, um, still keeping the Arabic theme. And this is an example of an Emoki Mods ice blue dial. Now this is reminiscent of the Rolex. Um, I think it's the, the president or perhaps as a date just model with this same kind of colorway. Um, but I just love that. Uh, sunburst, sunburst blue with those darker blue markers and the original hands and everything actually fit really well with that. Um, this as well is a rubber Seiko strap, uh, the sort of leather effects one, again taken from another watch. So occasionally I have watches like this which I'm willing to let go for a much lower price than usual because uh, they are built from parts from around the workshop. Um, on the back you've got the 7S26 movement, again original from that base watch and an exhibition case back. One little special party trick with this one, have a look at that date, it is also in Arabic. So that's another new part I've managed to secure recently and a lot of my Arabic dials. And not everyone wants it, but some people do like to have the Arabic date as well. So that goes all the way up to uh, 31 there in Arabic numerals. And um, so this, this is what I would call a full Arabic. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering how much these cost. Well, it's really hard to, to tell you exactly because parts prices change, base watch prices change, and also if you need it to be shipped worldwide or if you're going to collect it in Dubai and so on, and how you pay also affects it. But I'm going to give you an idea as to around $800 for these kind of mods where you've got higher end parts, you've got those dials which I need to buy a watch for, and um, of course, I can usually deliver them within around two to three weeks locally or four to five weeks internationally. 
Um, so any more info on that, please hit me up on Seiko Mons Dubai and I'll be glad to assist you. And thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed these mods and uh, I'll see you next time.